Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Bonnet House. My name is Richard, and I'm one of the tour coordinators here at the Bonnet House. There are many reasons to come to this wonderful historic property. One of the reasons is to come see our beautiful display of orchids here. Now, when Evelyn Bartlett was living, she had one of the largest collections of orchids on the East Coast. An interesting little tidbit was when she turned 90, she decided to collect miniature orchids. And she went out and bought a car specially to pick up the orchids. She bought an old Volvo because she felt she could be very safe in that car and get a lot of orchids in that car. So when you come to the Bonnet House, we have three orchid houses for you to visit. As you can see, I'm standing here in the display house. This is where all the orchids that are blooming on the property are brought from the respective orchid houses. There are two other orchid houses here on the property. One is the Banda House, and these contain all the orchids that are mounted, either on a piece of wood or on a wire, that require to be watered every single day. But the other orchid house is our North House, and that orchid house holds all the orchids that grow in a medium. They grow in pots and different types of mediums. Now, we also have orchids that are on display that are attached to the trees throughout the property. You know, Evelyn had about a thousand orchids or more, and we have perhaps about a thousand orchids still here at the Bonnet House, and some of these orchids are direct descendants of the original orchids. Now, if you walk around the property, you'll see the orchids displayed in different trees, palm trees. You'll see them displayed up in uh, regular trees as well. And um, you'll also notice that we have a wonderful collection of orchids here at the Bonnet House. We have several different kinds of species and genres. Um, down here, for instance, we have cataleas. Over here, we have pathopendulums. We have philonopsis. We have beautiful hard cane dendrobiums uh, that are starting to bloom. And we have vandas, of course. And uh, we have a whole house full of vandas. But whenever the orchids are blooming, we take them from that orchid house and we bring them here to put on display for you to enjoy. Now, we are very fortunate. Our curator for the orchids here at the Bonnet House is Jose Esposito. He is a world-renowned AOS judge. We also have an orchid program. If you're interested in volunteering, they come and meet once a week. They feed the orchids, they repot the orchids. It's a wonderful way of getting educated on how these orchids work. Plus it's a great way to meet people in your own community and people that like similar interests as yourself. You can also go online, thebonnethouse.org. You can look to see if there's any classes that are coming up and you can look to see if perhaps we're hoping to have our orchid fair again in the year 2021. So come visit us. We'd love to have you come see us. We are open Tuesday through Sunday, nine o'clock in the morning, and we close at five o'clock in the afternoon.